हाय गाइस मैं सिल्वा गिनेंदिस मेरी शेल से ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम ऑन लिप को मैक्सिमम लिस्टिंग डेप्थ ऑफ द पैरेंथेसिस सो स्ट्रिंग इज अ वैलिड पैरेंथेसिस स्ट्रिंग वे आर देव डिनोटेड एज वीपीएस इफ इट मीट्स वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्राइटेरियास सो फर्स्ट वन इज इट इज एन एम्प्टी स्ट्रिंग और अ सिंगल कैरेक्टर नॉट इक्वल टू आइदर ओपन और क्लोज ओके अदर क्राइटेरिया इज इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज ए बी Like A is concatenated with B, where B, A and B are valid parentheses string, or another B, it can be written as A with opening and closing parentheses, so A can be a valid parentheses string. So basically, valid parentheses means if a parenthesis opens, then again opens, so it should be closed. So this will be done. And again, it should be closed. So in this case, we can tell it as valid parenthesis. So how can we check this? So let's start with the count here. So if it is opening parenthesis, we increment the count. If it is closing parenthesis, we decrement the count. So this is for the opening parenthesis. This is for closing parenthesis. So here, opening parenthesis, so increment the count to one. Initially, it will be zero. Okay. Then this is opening. Again, count to two. Then this is closing. So count minus minus one. Again zero. So at last you have zero. So you can see it's a valid parenthesis string. So you can similarly define the nesting depth of any valid parenthesis string as follows. So empty string will have a nesting depth as uh, zero. So depth of C will be zero as C is a string with single character or not equal to any of these parentheses. If if it contains only the characters and no parentheses, then this nesting depth will be Zero or it's, if it is an empty string, so the nesting depth will be zero. So if you see in this, the nesting depth will be this given string is a. So nesting depth will be one plus depth of a. Why depth of a? So a can be a will be equal to this. Let's say b. Then it will be nothing but a bracket b instead of a if you substitute b. It will be nothing but this. So in this case, nesting depth will be one comma two plus nesting depth of b. Alright. So that is what they have to. Next, yeah. Here it will be one for this nesting depth and the depth of a plus inside whatever it is there. Depth of a can be zero, one, two, any any number it can be. So for example, if this string this this is all are valid. Parenthesis strings with nesting depth zero one two and if you look into this, they are not valid parentheses. Though you have opening and closing parentheses, they are not valid parentheses strings because if you see here, this opens open but closing only one time. So either closing should be there. Here it was first closing then opening. No, that's not a valid parenthesis. First will close then open. As I said. So if the count becomes zero, that doesn't indicate it's a valid parenthesis string. But for this scenario, you can do it because they have given the valid parenthesis strings only. So if you see here this bracket, so first is closing, so count minus minus, that will be minus one. Next opening, so count will be increment, so that will be zero. At the end, count is zero, but this is not a valid parenthesis. Okay, for every opening, there must be a closing parenthesis, and it should be in that particular order. So that it cancels out. So in first go inside the nesting. So this is cancelled. Next to go outside. So remain in this space. So this will be cancelling. These two will be cancelling. So that is what we call as valid parenthesis string. Now with a given example, we have to tell what is the nesting depth of the parenthesis valid parenthesis string. So for that again, whatever the formula had to, we'll use that only. See, I see the count will be zero. And if it's an open parenthesis, we we'll increment the count. And if it is closing parenthesis, we will decrement the count. So initially we have open parenthesis, so we increment the count to one. Then if you move here, then here it is again. So this is one. Then any parenthesis, yeah, here is a parenthesis. It's open parenthesis, so count will be incremented to two. Next comes here closing parenthesis, so count will be incremented to one. No, it will be decremented to one. Yeah, because C minus minus because it's a closing parenthesis. Next again here opening, so. Again, opening incremented to three, two plus one three. So this is closing. So three minus one will be two. Again, here it is closing. Two, two minus one will be one. Again, here it is closing. One minus one will be zero. So you can see it's a valid parenthesis string because for this 
opening we have this closing okay so and then for this opening we have this closing for this opening we have this closing for this opening we have this closing so they are all in the order open close open close open close so what is the nesting depth now how, how do you check it's a value position we how do you check the nesting depth the maximum all the depths we have here that is three this is nothing but the nesting depth Okay, so you have to return this as an answer. And logically, if you see why is it the answer? See, because if you start from here, as I said, this is open, that is the outermost parenthesis. First, inside parenthesis will get cancelled out. So, 2 and 3 are cancelled out here. So, that's why these two are done. And if we come here, open, open, open. If you check this, this is open, this is open, open, open. These two are cancelled out. So that will be nesting depth will be 3 or 8. The most inside number, whatever is there, that will be having the highest nesting depth, and we will return that only because for this nesting depth will be 2. For this expression, nesting depth will be 2, and for 4 also, nesting depth will be 2. But for 8, nesting depth is 3, and we return that. So, what we can do is we will have a variable called max depth initialized to 0 and another variable called current depth okay current depth is nothing but the counting match depth is nothing but representing three so each time in the loop if you find an open parenthesis you keep on incrementing the current depth at the same time you find the max depth curve max depth for the max of max depth comma current depth fine so we shall program this now so int max depth equal to 0 next int current depth will also be initialized to 0 so next parameters for each character c string s so first i'll show the c plus plus later i'll join the java code explain the java code so each character in the string s what we need to check if C is equal to, equal to open parenthesis. So you have to use a single inverted comma. If you use double inverted comma, that will be considered as string. So that won't be taken as character. So single inverted comma is must here. So if it is open parenthesis, next current depth should be incremented. Fine. After that, you have to check for the max depth. So max depth equal to max of max depth comma current fine so next this is done else if also we should be given why else if if you give else all this character will become under the s else part so else here what is the character equal to equal to closing parenthesis so in such case you just need to decrement the current depth so at last you return the max depth We can run this now. Yeah, and for Java, it's the same code. Only very few changes we have to do. So, in Java, you cannot directly iterate to the string. So, you have to convert this to the array of characters, then do it. So, how do you do S dot to character array? So that string will be converted to array of characters and you iterate to the array of characters no and here instead of max you should use the math.max function then everything else remains the same yes okay so this will is submitted if you understood the concept please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel we'll come up with other in the next session until then keep learning thank you